Today, me and Jordan are doing a giant maze build challenge where the person who builds a better maze gets 10,000 Robux, but little does Jordy know, I'm gonna be using cheats to make the most epic maze in Minecraft. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Tora. First, we have 15 minutes to complete our mazes, and after that, whoever can solve the other person's maze faster wins 10,000 Robux. Robux? I love Robux. I'm definitely gonna win this. We'll see about that, Jordy. Time starts now. Good luck. So now that we're over here on my side, this area is so hilly and gonna be so hard to work with, so I'm gonna use cheats to make all of this super flat. So what I can do is take my magic wand just like this and then select a spot over here. Then we need to come all the way over here just like this. And then I can dig down a little bit, click right here, and then set all of this to air. And now, just like that, we have a super flat area to work with. But uh, this looks really ugly with all this stone and granite and diorite and all that. So we need to fix this to make it look a lot better. Now, I want my maze to speak luxury. And what speaks luxury better than some diamond blocks? So let's use some more cheats to set the entire floor to some diamond blocks. And yeah, look how awesome my floor is. Jordan's gonna be so shocked that I have a huge diamond block floor. I mean, look how rich I am. But uh, a maze really isn't a maze without any walls. So let's go ahead and add some walls next. And now I can use slash slash walls quartz block to make all of that quartz block and yes now we have some walls and then to finish off this building right here we're going to use one more command to do slash slash set glass so that we can watch Jordy from the top while he's doing our maze so now that we got our walls and our roof set up we need to make an entrance into this maze and I'm thinking we can put our front entrance right here but what Jordy doesn't know is this actually isn't going to be the real front entrance and this is going to be a trap and the real front entrance is going to be somewhere else on the build so what we can do in this little area right here is build a mini maze that only leads to traps And this is gonna be so funny because Jordy's gonna think he's solving the maze when in reality All he's gonna be doing is going to different traps So what we can do is place some blocks like this get it down to one block and start building a little maze and now that we got this little fake maze right here, what we can do is in all of the spots where there's dead ends, come right here, break down two blocks, put down a lava and a ghost block on top. So if Jordy comes this way, he'll fall right into the lava just like that. And we can just put a bunch more of these lava traps randomly throughout this little mini maze. And then, so I'm not too mean to Jordy, we're gonna put a sign somewhere here in the maze that tells him that this was actually the wrong front entrance. So I'm hoping that Jordy will enter through the wrong front entrance and waste a bunch of time in this dummy maze before he realizes that he actually went into the wrong front entrance, where then he'll actually be in my maze. And to make sure that Jordy doesn't see the rest of the maze, I'm gonna fill in these walls just like that. But now I wanna mess with Jordy and I've got the perfect plan to do so. What I can do is with this personal shrinking device, right click it and set my size down to 0.2, just like that, then shift right click. And look, I turned into a little miniature Torah. Oh my gosh, I'm so cute. And what's gonna happen is at this size, Jordy's not gonna be able to see me because I'm so small, so we'll be able to mess with this base. So let's head over there and see what Jordy's built so far. All right, but we have to be super sneaky because I do not want Jordy to see us. And oh my gosh, did he make his whole maze out of dirt? That is such a classic Jordy move to build most of his base out of dirt. But uh, wow, he did put a start sign. That's really cool. I like that. But oh my gosh, is that Jordy's name tag right there? Okay, he's right there. We have to be super careful. So uh, let's see if we can get inside of his maze. And oh my gosh, what is Jordy doing? Is he putting down stairs? Okay, this is perfect. This first part of my base is so cool and Tor is going to be so impressed. Okay, this is perfect timing. Jordy just went upstairs, and what I can see is that he's got all of this glass down here. Now, what I can do super quickly since Jordy's upstairs is use a command slash slash replace near 15 glass to glass panes. So, what Jordy's not gonna realize, he's gonna think that this is still just his glass blocks, but they're actually glass panes. So, when I come to do his maze, all I'll have to do is jump up here, jump onto the glass pane, and then I'll have completed his maze super easy. And oh my gosh, Jordy even put lava in his maze down there. That's a really good thing. I used cheats to make it easier because I could have totally ended up in that lava. Oh, oh my gosh. Is Jordy that sees an us. Ant? Oh no, Jordy totally sees I us. I told you guys how much I hate ants. Come on, get out of my base. Oh get back no, here. we have to run, 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 run. I'm gonna run. get you. You're lucky you escaped. 
Oh my gosh, that was not good. Jordy found us, but he did just think we're an ant. He didn't know that it was me, so that's good. But there's no way that he would have known it's us, so we should be safe from him coming to mess with our base. So let's go add some more stuff to my maze. On this backside right here, we're gonna put the real front entrance. And then past this real front door right here is gonna be our real maze. And because this is gonna be the real maze, I wanna add some fun challenges to the inside. But what we need to do first is make an outline of our maze with some blocks just like this. So, as you can see right here, I went ahead and made the layout of our maze. And as you can tell, I've designated three spots with gold blocks. All three of these spots, Jordy's gonna have to find if he wants to exit the maze. And what these spots are going to be are places where I quiz Jordy about me. You see, Jordy always tells me he's my best friend. And so on each one of these gold blocks is gonna be a question that my best friend would know about me to find out if Jordy really is my best friend. And then to make sure that Jordy's not cheating, I made the walls three blocks high so he can't jump and peek over the edge. So now on this first spot where we have the gold blocks, what we can do is right here, put down a gold block, diamond block and emerald block with a lever on the bottom just like that and then right here we can put a sign that's gonna say question one and question one is going to be what is my favorite animal so now on these blocks right here we can give them different options option a is going to be a elephant option b is gonna be a tiger and option c is gonna be a fox now, I think Jordy knows I'm a tiger, so hopefully he gets this one right, but foxes are also orange, so he might get confused and think I'm a fox. And if Jordy presses elephant, that's just gonna be really sad, but uh, yeah, he should be able to get this one right for sure. And now, the very last step is to come above the correct answer right here, put down a redstone torch, a block, and another redstone torch, and then we can have some redstone dust come off of that. And eventually, this redstone dust is gonna connect to a door so that he'll have to answer all three questions correctly if he wants to leave this maze. So now we can just close this up and go to the next question and question two is going to be does Tora have a Minecraft girlfriend? Option A is going to be yes Option B is gonna be no you cooties and option C is going to be it's complicated And actually I'm gonna leave this one a secret until Jordy comes and answers it So let me know down in the comments below which one of these you think is the correct answer and whoever gets it right will get a free cookie and right here we're gonna put question three which says who is Tora's best friend so on the diamond block we're gonna put option a which is going to say dream option b is going to say cash and nico and we finally have option c which is going to say jordy now uh, this one should be pretty obvious but we'll see if jordy gets it right and then now what we can do is come right here and break this hole right here because this is going to be our door to leave. So what we can do is put down some sticky pistons just like that. Fill this in with a block so that Jordy knows that this is the exit. And the very last thing we need to do to finish this part of our maze is make a three input and gate. And to do that, all we need to do is put some blocks just like this. Have a repeater come into each side of this granite from each of our questions. We can put some redstone torches on the top. Then we connect all of this with some redstone and another redstone torch. Then we put some redstone right there and then bring all of the redstone down just like that And so as you can see our door is closed just like that But if we come and provide power to all three sides, it's going to open our door just like that. That's perfect So now we just make sure all of this redstone is connected So when he answers the questions correctly, it's gonna provide power to all three sides and open the door And to make sure that Jordy doesn't mess with any of the redstone I went ahead and protected all of this with some quartz blocks and for this next part, we need to make a giant hallway. So I could use some cheats to spawn in these walls to make a giant hallway just like this. Then right here, we go ahead and make an exit. And then all along this wall right here, we're gonna line this with some dispensers. And then inside all of these dispensers, we're gonna fill it up with some poison arrows. And then next, I'm gonna fill this whole floor with pressure plates so that Jordy's gonna have to run really quickly past all of these dispensers without getting hit to make it to the end. So we're just gonna go ahead and place some pressure plates just like this and fill all of this in so with this setup right here what's gonna happen if Jordy comes over here to the pressure plates and he steps on it it's going to set off both dispensers firing some poison arrows at him and so Jordy's gonna have to run really fast past all of these dispensers if he wants to get across without getting poisoned and potentially dying so yeah this is gonna be really hard but 
now I want to mess with Jordy one last time, and to do so, I have the perfect plan. What I can do is with the morph mod, I can actually morph into Hero Brine just like this. And oh my gosh, I'm literally Hero Brine. This is gonna scare Jordy so much that he's gonna have to let me into his base. So let's head over there and mess with them some more. All right, and let's see what else we can mess with at Jordy's base. I don't see his name tag just yet, so we have to be really careful here to make sure we don't just accidentally run up on Jordy. But uh, let's see what's up here past these birch blocks. And oh my gosh, is that Jordy's name tag? Okay, yeah, he's down there working on a painting. And what's this? Did he even put a lava parkour in his base too? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is perfect timing because while he's busy working on that painting, we could actually mess with this lava parkour by setting it all to fake lava. What I can do is slash just replace near lava with fake lava blocks. And now all of this lava is going to just be fake lava. So if I mess up this parkour, I'll be totally safe. And let's go over there and say hi to Jordy as Hero Brian. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Hello! Hero Brian, it's you again? It is me, Hero Brian! Uh, please go hurt And I. Me. Oh, oh, whoop. Well, okay, well, he's. Where is he going? Wait, what? Did he put a secret door down here with ghost blocks? Oh my gosh, that's so good to know. And if I'm correct, this probably will lead us to the exit of his maze. And yeah, it looks like it's right there. Okay, well, there's only a few minutes left to our build battle challenge. So let me get back to my base quickly before the time is up. All right, and now after our poison dart trap, what I'm going to add is a giant lava parkour. So after Jordy leaves the poison dart trap, he's going to come over this way. We can use slash slash set quartz blocks to build out another big room. And now that we got our wall set up, because this is going to be a lava parkour, what we need to do is come right here and set the floor to lava. So what we can do is use the command slash slash set lava to fill the floor in with lava just like that. Yeah, that looks awesome. And now, using some gold blocks, we can actually build the parkour. So, we'll make the first starting platform right there, and we'll have it start easy, but then get progressively harder. And we can add one of these tricky little roof jumps right here. And then once Jordy gets to this diamond platform right here, I'm gonna use a command block to make a checkpoint. Now when Jordy gets this command block, it will act as a checkpoint, which means everything past this diamond block we can make way harder. So now with these diamond blocks, we can make this parkour continue up this way, just like this. And then right here past these diamond blocks, we can make a slime block jump. So we can put down a slime block just right there. And after bouncing on this slime block, Jordy's actually gonna have to land on this block with a ladder to get to the next part. So he'll jump like this, sprint, and hit the ladder to continue. Then we can put a really hard four block jump right there. And why not just add one more to make it extra difficult? Then as one little last secret right here, we're going to put a ghost block so that if Jordy tries to jump to this next block he'll fall straight through into the lava that's gonna be so funny so then if jordy can beat this part right here we'll put a dime platform right here that'll be the end of the lava parkour and then we'll just make it continue this way past our poison dart run and we'll even put some glass so as jordy's doing this he can kind of see what's coming up next and now for the very last stage of my maze what we can do is come over here to this little balcony hallway we made and come right here and use slash slash space to spawn something in and what we're actually spawning in is me and Jordy's bunker. So right here we have our bunker, but what I'm gonna do is put a boss inside of this bunker that Jordy's gonna have to defeat to reclaim our bunker back. So what we can do is with this Myrmex queen, spawn it in right here and look at that. That is so scary. So for Jordy to beat my maze, the last thing he's gonna have to do is fight this boss. But I'm not gonna make Jordy just fight this boss with his fist. So on this side of our bunker right here, what we can do is put down a keypad door and we'll make the code something really hard like one, two, three, four. Then we can put down an armor stand and a barrel right here so we can give Jordy some tools to help fight this boss. And looking at the these really cool armors this tide guardian armor is orange just like me so i'm gonna give this one to jordy to use to defeat the boss and yeah that looks so cool and now we need to find a sword to give to jordy as well and, and i'm thinking this desert myrmex stinger sword looks really cool as well so we'll give that to him to use and the very last thing we're gonna equip jordy with is some enchanted golden apples just to be used as a last resort and jordy's not gonna know the code of this door so right here we can put a sign that's going to say the code is one two three four so for Jordy to get to the next part, he's gonna have to jump over here and see that the code is one, two, three, four to get through, and then he can fight the boss. And then if Jordy manages to defeat the boss, we'll have our bunker back, and Jordy will have completed my maze. 
And that's perfect timing because the 15 minutes just ended. So let's go check out Jordy's finished maze. Hey, Jordy. What's up, Tora? You ready to show off your maze? Yeah, my maze is gonna be so much harder than yours. Uh, all right, if you say so, let's go check it out. All right, follow me. Wow, Jordy, this is really cool. You built it out of uh, dirt blocks. That's uh, that's that's awesome. And uh, what's this right here? And this is for you, Tora. Oh my gosh, is it a painting for me? Is it of my tiger skin? That's so cool. Thanks, Jordy. And uh, I like your added detail of the start sign right here too. That's awesome. As soon as you walk through the doorway, your timer starts. So you better get going. All right, as soon as I go through this doorway, my timer's gonna start. So I need to make sure I move through this maze so fast because I cannot lose to Jordy. So I'm feeling ready. So let's do this thing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I put the glass paint so we should be able to just jump over like this and move on to the next part. Oh my gosh, Jordy, what? your maze was so easy. Tor, how did you do that so quickly? Okay, but my timer is going so i gotta move um okay here we go we got our lava jump right here this is parkour so impossible yeah why don't you just show me the way jordy okay here we go and oh my gosh oh no i actually fell in the lava but jordy doesn't know that it's fake lava so we're fine okay we got one last big jump right here Ugh, okay oh my gosh all right jordy here we go what's this who is this uh it looks like a pig and uh what am i uh, chef pigster or stinger flynn i didn't have time to finish tora i don't know jordy this doesn't really look like any of them you're just gonna have to guess but it is pink and chef pigster is the only pink one so my guess is chef pigster i'm gonna go this way here we go all right let's see Good job, Tora. Oh my gosh, what is this? Another maze? Another maze, yeah. And you'll never beat this one. I'll never beat this one. But, oh my gosh, Jordy, what is that down there? Go check that out. That's super cool. What, what? is that? Where? Oh my gosh, Jordy's so Tora, dumb. I don't he see really anything. thought something's over there. So now we can just sneak through his ghost block right here. Okay. And, oh my gosh, Jordy, look at I made it through that part of the maze. What? How did you do that, Tora? I don't know, Jordy. Don't even worry about it. Uh, whatever. Oh my gosh, is this the finish? What do I have to do to get to the finish? The final stage is right here. Oh no, the final stage. You have to cross to get to the cake without stepping on some landmines. Okay, there's secret landmines somewhere in this run, so what I gotta do is quickly run across without setting the TNT off. Well, I don't know if there's any way to do this with skill. I think this is all just luck, so uh, here goes nothing. Uh, ah! Oh no, I hear the TNT going off. Run, 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 oh, run. Oh no, Tori. Oh You're no, ah! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, and yes, I made it to the cake. How Let's did you do go. that? Tori, you're a cheater. Oh my gosh, Jordy, your maze was so cool. Well, Tor, good job. And you get your cake now, too. Yes, I got cake. Let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. You beat that one so quickly. I feel like you were cheating, Tora. All right, Jordy. Well, I'm feeling really good about my time. I think I might be winning the 10,000 Robux. But uh, now it's your turn to come see how you do it, my maze. I better win that Robux. All right, Jordy. Let's go. All right, Jordy. Well, if you just follow me this way, we can go check out my base. And just climb up over this hill right here. Whoa, you're your maze looks so big. How did you do this with such short time? I don't know, Jordy. I guess I'm just a master builder. But uh, yeah, this is totally the front entrance right here. So uh, why don't you just go ahead and go inside? And uh, your time starts now. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh no. All right. And there, Jordy goes into our maze just like that. And this oh so my gosh, he already fell into the lava trap. Jordy, you're supposed to avoid those. Tora, why are you always pranking me? Okay, Tora, let me try this again. Um, you got this, Jordy. I believe in you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. Wait, he's actually going the right way. Is he going to see the sign? Oh, my gosh. He found the sign. This was not the real entrance? Wh what? Tora? Yeah, you tricked me again. I'm sorry, Jordy. I had to trick you so that you would get uh, extra time. Right. Oh, my gosh. The lava again. No way. You fell in the same lava trap twice. That's so embarrassing, Jordy. All right, Tor, I'm coming back, but wait, is that the real entrance over there? Oh my gosh, you found the real entrance so fast, I didn't think you'd find it that quick. But yes, this is the real entrance over here, and this is the actual start to my maze. Are you sure this isn't another prank? Trust me, Jordy, this is not another prank. This is the real start to my maze. Uh, okay, I guess. This seems so easy. And you're off to a really good start, Jordy. And oh my gosh, are you going to see it? And you this? found question one to my maze. What is my favorite animal? Uh, 
Tora, is it a fox? Because you're orange like a fox. Oh my gosh, Jordy, no, it's not a fox. What is my favorite I'm animal? I'm just kidding. Tora, you are literally a tiger. I'm just kidding with you. Oh, yes, you're right, Jordy. My favorite animal is a tiger. Good job. What, what did that do? Now you got two more questions to find in this maze if you want to escape. Oh. oh, it looks like you took a dead end. Not that way. It's, it's definitely this way. Oh my gosh, you found the little small hallway. Good job, Jordy. Okay, and it looks like you're coming up on the next question. <gasps> Who is Tora's best friend? Dream? Cash and Nico or Jordy? That's right, Jordy. You should know who my best friend is. It better be me. I'm gonna go with that one. Good job, Jordy. You Let's got go. it right. All right, now you've only got one last question to find, Jordy. Good luck. All right. Um, it definitely has to be this way. That one was so easy. You found that so quick. The very last question. Does Tora have a Minecraft girlfriend? Uh oh. Yes. No ew cuties? Or it's complicated? Which one well, is it, Jordy? Girls have cooties, so I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, and it looks like the door did not open, Jordy, so that is not the correct answer. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh my you gosh, do? the door opened, and yes, I do have a secret Minecraft girlfriend. But you got it right, so now you can move on to the next stage. Yay, let's go. All right, Jordy, and for this next stage, you have to do a poison dart run. What you need to do is start here and run all the way to the end without hitting any of the poison darts. But to make it extra fun, why don't we race? Are you ready, Jordy? Tor, this is going to be so easy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Ah! Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get hit by the poison. so easily i don't know jordy i guess i'm just that good but uh why don't we do a rematch best out of three uh yeah obviously all right let's do it all right tora i'm definitely gonna win this one you ready jordy let's go on my mark three two one and oh, oh my no. gosh no what? i accidentally why? hit I myself so with the slow. slowest motion i gotta go oh no that's so embarrassing i hit both of us run 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 and i won yeah oh let's gosh. go Tora, you always win how did you still lose when we both had the slowness potion jordy i don't know tora well either way you've now made it to the next stage my lava parkour let's go all go. right jordy let's see how fast you can do my lava parkour and oh my gosh you're actually really <laughs> quick jordy ah! oh but that one was a little difficult and you didn't make it first try but that's okay all right, Jordy, you got this. I believe in you. Let's see it. All right, you got... Oh, my gosh, you're so close. Can you make it? And you made it to the checkpoint. Good I job, Jordy. I got the first Jordy. checkpoint, Tora. Okay, and now can you do the diamond stage? And oh, my gosh, how'd you fall? That's the easiest part of the diamond stage, Jordy. Okay, I but I believe... Happened, I bet you'll do it right here. Let's see. Okay, you're doing real good. And you got to go to the slime block and then sprint to the ladder. Oh, you were so close. All right, let's see. Here you go. And on to the slime block. Then to the ladder. And yes, you got it. Okay, now you got some... <laughs> Jordy, what are you doing? You're really racking up your time here, Jordy. You're supposed to be better than this. Okay, here we go. To the slime block. And on the ladder. Good job. All right, the four block jump. Oh my gosh, you made it the first jump. Okay, you only got one more, Jordy. And yes, you did it. Okay, let's see. Only one more jump. Oh my gosh, Jordy, how did you fall for the ghost block? Was that a ghost block? Obviously, I'm going to put a ghost block in my lava parkour, Jordy. You should know this by now. Or you always do this to me. Well, because I pranked you, I'll teleport you back to this part right here, so I'm not that mean. Okay, and you got a bigger jump, and yes, you made it to the end, and now you only got one more stage left. That took so long, but I finally did it. What is all this? A Feel dagger like and some armor? What is that in there, Tora? Uh, Jordy, what you gotta do is put on that armor and grab your weapons, and you have to defeat a final boss to finish my maze. Uh... All right, this is really scary. You got this, Jordy. I believe in you, but to get through, you need to first find the passcode. 
A passcode? Where could it be, Tora? I don't know, Jordy. I don't know where you'll find it, but uh... Oh, I think you see What's it. What's that say? The code is 1234? No way the code is that easy. I tried to make it something really hard for you. So there you go. Head on in and good luck. Oh my gosh. Is this our house? This is our bunker, and to claim our bunker, you have to kill the final boss. Oh my what gosh, that is so that? scary. And it's even laying eggs. That's so weird. But I believe in you, Jordy. You got this. Take him out. Oh my, oh gosh, my gosh, that was a really big hit. Okay, you're doing really good damage, Jordy. You got this. Yeah, eat a golden apple quick. You got this. And what are these things that it's laying? That's so weird. Okay, Jordy, you got this. How I much health does you. this guy even have, Tora? I don't know, but you got it. This boss doesn't stand a chance against my best friend. There's no way that it wins. But Jordy, you have to kill it if you want to reclaim our bunker. So take him out. He's almost dead, Tora. I got this. Oh my gosh, and you did it, let's Jordy. Go. Let's go. And wow, let's you're even taking out eggs. the eggs. Thanks. That's, that's kind of rude. We don't want him coming back. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Definitely get rid of those eggs. But Jordy, unfortunately, I did solve your maze faster, which means I get the 10,000 Robux. That's not fair. But Jordy, since I'm such a good friend, I'll give you half of it. So we both get 5,000 Robux. Are you serious, Tora? Thank I'm you so serious. Much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit one of the videos on the screen if you want to see more.